Okay. Welcome everybody out tonight. Um, tonight's topic is lemongrass essential oil. And we have Jade here who's going to present uh, lemongrass. Yes, thank you, Ben. Um, if it wasn't for Ben, we wouldn't have all of this technology and this I'm, way I'm to, tech guy. to uh, <laughs> deliver the message to everybody. So really grateful for Ben. It was awesome. Um, so we want to start with us. Everybody, uh, what some of your experiences are with lemongrass. What do you think of lemongrass? What, um, how you know if you if you like it or not like it? Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Um, fried steak. Lemongrass fried steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the Vietnamese one yeah. is is the chicken lemongrass. I mean, <laughs> chicken. How many times have you eaten? <laughs> no, I've had lots of different versions of it. <laughs> Yes. I like smelling it, but I don't like eating it. <laughs> I used it first off. It was one of the first oils that I used for my thyroid. That's what I always like used it for. And then I've learned all the different things it's good for, but I struggled a lot with like hypothyroidism. So mm -hmm. one of my like when I was baby in doTERRA, that was like what I <laughs> Now you're a teenager in doTERRA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna leave home soon. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else want to share your experience with lemongrass? I'll share. I love lemongrass to support muscles and joints that are achy. Yes. yes. I don't use it near enough for that. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. I have it, but I've never used it. It's, it's not one that it's it's one of those eh it's okay kind of oils yeah <laughs> in between yep okay yeah i'm not sure why i have it i think megan told me i needed it <laughs> <laughs> probably all right so let's share um lemongrass so i have a post here why don't we just share the post with everybody um and i'll just go through it with you so it just keeps me on track um, so of course, that lemongrass is great for uh, the sore muscles and it helps with cholesterol. It helps with digestion. Very, very powerful. So if you look at that lemongrass, it's actually grass, but the blade is so thick that um, you know I've cut my finger on it before. That's how thick and sharp it is, and um, it is very hardy, so it grows very well. Um, and uh, you know, think about those characteristics of it, okay? So it's not a soft guy. It's not a softy grass thing. It really does, it's very powerful. So it's great for cooking. And one of the most important things that you can remember is it, it helps with negativity. Because remember, we wanna do everything at an emotional and spiritual level so that our physical body um, responds to that because that's the root. And spend, instead of spending so much time um, fixing the symptoms, <laughs> going down to the root. Okay, so let's share. So my my experience with lemongrass was interesting. My my parents, my whole uh, everyone in um, <laughs> Vietnam knows about the lemongrass chicken recipe, and I mean that's how I grew up. I, I smelt it, tasted it, ate it, in my, and um, that's that's my experience. But I was surprised um, that it could do anything for us. When um, I got sick, my mum would um, you know, mash it up and uh, put it in a pot of boiling water and make me put my head over it and smell that smell. And at first I'm thinking, why do I have to do this? This is so weird. And as an adult, I'm, I'm thinking, wow, that was very smart of them. <laughs> you know, because it has a lot of uh, properties. Village aromatherapy. Yes, village aromatherapy. So that was amazing. Um, but if you think about it, lemongrass um, is L. Okay, oh, I want to write, give you this here. L for lemongrass, L for ligaments. So just remember, if we have some ligament concerns, um, lemongrass is the go-to. Now, um, I, I was speaking to Debbie Westcott, and while well, I was texting her, um, she reminded me that um, it make it's really good to mix with deep blue for sore muscles. So Debbie Gordon was saying that she uses it for muscles, um, for muscle tightness and tension. Um, so you can use that with deep blue. Uh, remember, 
yeah, the lemongrass is a little bit hot. It's not super, super hot, but it's still a hot oil. So dilute it according to your skin type. So if you have light, a fair color skin, and, and it's, um, you know, if it's more sensitive, then you need more fractionated coconut oil to dilute with, okay? All right, so you can just try it out. Everyone is different, uh, but it's wonderful to use um, as uh, digestive aid too. So in the top part here where I wrote, um, I gave you a list of um, different oils that you can combine it with. Now there's no hard set recipes. You have lemongrass at home. So sometimes, you know, you just mix and match or just combine different oils, so the, the ones that you feel like, because sometimes um, it's a, it seems like it's the same problem, but it could be um, from a different cause or different pathway. So you need to change up the oils to see which one works better for you at that particular time. So you can use Digestin, GX Assist, Peppermint, Wild Orange, Rosemary, bergamot, and frankincense. So frankincense and lemongrass, digestion and lemongrass, or you know, wild orange, peppermint, and lemongrass. It's up to you. But um, if you have some digestive concerns, um, so if you're traveling, okay, if you have something, uh, then you can take that internally. So that works too. So have you guys had lemongrass, <clears throat> lemongrass tea before? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can use just one drop of lemongrass um, in your tea. And lemongrass is found in the DDR Prime. Okay, and it's a very important part of DDR Prime. <coughs> Sorry, I had some dairy tonight. <laughs> so lemongrass uh, encourages apoptosis in cells. Okay, so I taught my kids apoptosis this week. Um, do you guys know what it means? Yeah. Go ahead. Apoptosis is when it looks for the cells and if it's an unhealthy cell, it self-destructs. And if it's, yeah, uh, is that, yeah. Yep, that's it, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's the idea. It just goes into there, it protects the cells, but um, if, it, uh, if the cells are unhealthy and beyond repair, it helps the cells trigger apoptosis, self-destruct, okay? So that's, um, that part of lemongrass. Okay, so of course, um, it's a wonderful uh, way to, um, well, lemongrass mixed with other oils is just wonderful for uh, muscles. So um, you might want to try so lemongrass with basil and clary sage for tight, tense muscles too. Okay, and I got that from Dr. Susan Lawton. So she said that. Um, you can use it for post workout, um, and uh, yeah, you just need to repeat it if you're still sore and achy. All right, um, and you can use it for extra strong relief for muscles. Again, uh, fractionated coconut oil uh, with lemongrass and lavender, and um, you can either use lavender or basil. So lemongrass and basil, lemongrass and lavender, um, and massage it in and uh, that should you know focus that lemongrass into that area and I made that combination it smells really nice really nice um, so just apply it every 10 minutes okay so do we have any questions or comments so far has, any, has anybody used it in this way before I, I tried, I didn't know, but um, I tried it with lavender before and it did, I mean, I don't know why I did, but <laughs> I just like the smell of the two and I knew that lemongrass would probably help with pain and lavender did, so I just combined them, but it really, um, it felt different than like white fur or anything. It really uh, smelled good and it um, took away the pain and like a deep pain, so like you said, for more extensive or extra strong. It was like deep my back and I had like pulled it and so I was like, oh no, what kind of thing to use? And so I don't know, I just went to that and um, saw that lemongrass helped and then I was like, well, lavender is good with it. And um, then I told my mom, have you ever heard of this? 
Yeah, you don't yeah. think about lack of that to help with your achy pains and things. That's right. But it does. It works really well. Yeah. It was like a pulled muscle, so I wasn't really sure. Um, but it did. It did help it. It went away. <laughs> yeah. and sometimes you don't know. It just it's all pain to you, but to your body, it's different. Yeah. So I, I heard so many times people say, well, that deep blue didn't work. And then this works and it's really random. So one friend of mine, she used wild orange, lemon and lime for her sore hips. <laughs> so you know what? You never know. Just try it and play with it. The oils are amazing. But these are just suggestions for um, you to start, a place to start. Okay, so we know, I, I mentioned it earlier, that you can use it in flavouring. Uh, it's hot, so it's hot to the taste too, okay? But it smells yummy. My friend, she, she used it in her Vietnamese chicken um, lemongrass because she ran out of lemongrass, and so, yeah, she did that, and she said it really worked. So. Are there any other recipes that <laughs> you know? Um, it, for just, um, entrees, for different entrees, but I don't know. Um, Does anybody else have any ideas? Um, no curry. We put in curry too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's home, <laughs> homemade flavors. It's really nice. Okay. Um, it's a natural insect repellent. They've done some research on that. Uh, so you can combine it with uh, eucalyptus and um, spritz it in a bottle. So one of my friends, she uses it on her pet dog. Um, I just normally use the Terra Shield in Australia. They call it Terra Armor, um, but hey, you can you know, and, switch and, it up. And, and all insects are different. So mm -hmm. if you're finding that maybe one blend, <coughs> is another option mm -hmm. that you have. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So have you guys used uh, lemongrass for insect repellent? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the Terra Shield too. Yeah. Most people use Terra Shield or Pepper. Yeah, it's my go too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. Awesome. Okay. The next thing on our list is negativity headache. I just discovered another headache. <laughs> I had a list of different headaches and then I found a new one. <laughs> so it's again lemongrass and lavender, uh, but just two drops of each and then rub it on the temples. Because when you're trying to think negatively and <laughs> trying to, you're not, you're not trying to, you just, it just happens. Um, and uh, it hurts your head because that energy. So this here will help you diffuse the negativity and chillax. Okay. So thank you, Dr. Sue. She doesn't call it that, but um, that's what I discussed. <laughs> okay. Uh, sort uh, and tired feet soak. A lemongrass again with um, some Epsom salt and just water. And just soak it, soak your feet in that. So that's easy enough. So if you have a full day of walking around the shops, uh -huh. shopping or whatever. Heels. <laughs> walking from here to <laughs> the there. End of the day, take the heels off. I've, I've heard people using winter green for that as well. Mm -hmm. So there's an there's an alternative to when yeah. winter green. It mm -hmm. seems to mm -hmm. be an alternative in a lot of these cases. Yeah. Anyone with experience with that? So I think a lot of people just don't know what to use mm -hmm. uh, lemongrass mm -hmm. for. And, so and here are some ideas some now. good ideas now. All right. This is important mm -hmm. here. Kidney and bladder recovery support. So three drops of lemongrass, five drops of cypress, and four drops of basil and remember to dilute it. You can rub it on the lower back and across the front, um, just uh, around the abdomen, lower front of the ab abdomen. And you need to continue for two days after the symptoms have resolved. Okay, so if you have some sort of, uh, I don't know, attack or just aches and pains in there in that area, that will help, okay? Um, my mum, she had some thyroid problems and this blend really worked for her. And what I learned from Debbie Gordon was 
once you forget to use it, as in your body doesn't ask for it anymore, uh, you probably don't need it anymore. And that's what I found in my mum. So she's not on medications. She's, uh, she used this for a while, I think for a year. And then um, she kind of forgot about it, but uh, she was fine. So 50 drops of lemongrass, 15 drops of frankincense, five drops of clove, and it's all in a 10 ml roller bottle and then fill up the rest of the roller bottle with fractionated coconut oil. You can use it two to three times a day for several weeks. Okay, so does anybody want to share? Maybe you want to share about this? I will absolutely share. This was really life-changing for me personally. And I, I probably use that exact um, um, recipe for my thyroid support. And um, you doing that for a couple of months, I lost about 18 pounds and my energy level was significantly improved. And honestly, once in a while, I use it for thyroid support now, but I seriously do not need it every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once in a while, I feel like, you know, I tell my mom to just rub it on. And yeah. 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 Not real, very in fact, I had an interesting experience this last week on Thursday. We had an event down in Pleasant Grove, and um, it was a, an event on hormonal support. And um, the presenter, let me see if I can do this. The presenter said, this is adrenals, and this is thyroid. And I loved that, uh, that help, hint, helpful hint. Because wherever we're just carrying a lot of extra weight or inches or bloating or whatever's going on, that will guide us in our what hormonal support we need. And um, so um, that was a good reminder. So we're carrying a lot of belly fat, belly fat is adrenals and a lot of extra on our thighs. That's thyroid. Okay. All right. Wobbly thighs. Go for thyroid. <laughs> Okay, remember that, got it. Yeah, but also if we have a thyroid concern, you want to take that holistic approach, um, reduce the xenoestrogens in your diet, in your home, in everything that you, you do. Um, xenoestrogen is your synthetic estrogen, causes a lot of problems. Um, it's one of the endocrine disruptors and you can look up endocrine disruptors and you can see all sorts of um, chemicals and things out there that causes that. Uh, okay, so that's reducing toxins, but also you need to feed your cells with nutrients, rest well, and reduce stress. And one of the most important thing you can feed your cell is healthy fats, okay? Healthy fats help produce your hormones, balance hormones. So that's thyroid. Okie dokie, we're just gonna move on. Anybody else want to share? So, um, I just want to share about the headaches. Yes. So, yes. mom tends to get a lot of headaches, and sometimes I test her and it's lemongrass that she needs. So, I would say that that's um, one of, you know, a really good oil to use for headaches when you, you feel, just feel crappy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She just thinks of scary, negative, fearful things so much that she really needs she needs a bathe in that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks, Jamie. Thanks for sharing that. So that leads us perfectly into the emotion, the mind. Okay, so lemongrass is the oil of cleansing. It's, uh, negativity only feeds on darkness and it continues in that direction. And uh, so the more we hold on to that negativity, the more negativity we draw. Uh, so we need to clean out that negativity by diffusing it and using the oils um, to train our brains to stay positive. So if you've had a lifetime of fear and troubles and things, uh, it's understandable, our situations happen, uh, but um, we just need to train our brains to think differently now. Uh, so diffuse that oil. I had an experience where, um, one of my teammates, she said that all her t uh, at work people t um, tried to take advantage of her a lot. They would give her extra work and um, and just use and abuse her basically. So I told her, why don't you try to diffuse lemongrass at your desk? And uh, she did, and she said that it became, you know, the this little um, social center of her workplace where people came and started just standing around her area and just chatting and they were nicer to her she said it was it was all um it turned out really really well 
Yeah. Um, and one time I went to a class with my friend Philomena and um, right, we drove, I don't know, for 20 minutes and we're almost there. And that lady texted us, the lady that was hosting in class, she texted us and she said, oh, I don't want to be sold anything. I just want to see that machine. And we looked at each other and thinking, oh, she's, she's scared. And she's thinking we're going to sell us, you know. Anyways, we looked at each other and thought, mm, lemongrass, we'll give her lemongrass first. And so when we sat down with her, we opened up all our oils, we handed her the lemongrass right away. And we said, hey, do you like this one? And she had a good sniff of it and she just screwed up her nose and she said, oh, that stinks. And we're like, oh, okay, we'll put it back. And then um, we started teaching her about essential oils, but her countenance changed. And so $300 later, she was still going. She was like wanting to buy everything. And so we helped her change from a negative personality to positive. So that was awesome. Uh, anybody else have any stories like that um, of uh, changing emotionally with lemongrass? Um, I diffuse it in my girl's room <laughs> so they can be happy the next day. <laughs> it's one, one oil that, that you're diffusing. That's interesting. Yeah. So they wake yeah. up happy instead of crabby, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Especially for Violet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We have a. I just use it whenever I like want to clean my room or like get organized or anything. And it, I don't know. I didn't really like know it was good for all this stuff. And even um, I put it on with Wild Orange when I go to the gym, and it really helps me just like be organized and like I don't know, clean out the clutter kind of deal. So. That is exactly right. Yep. So this here will help you know clean out toxic negative energy. Um, it helps with feeling despair, holding on to the past. Hoarding, okay, uh, darkness and spiritual blindness. So that is their emotion. And I see Jamie smiling. She, <laughs> yeah, this is why our mom not needs it. So it's just <laughs> funny because that's all of her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think because of our mom, Jamie's the complete opposite. She simplifies everything and then she tries to throw out a one piece of clothes. If she gets something, um, she has to throw out something else. If she puts some, something in, she throws out the rest. She doesn't want to hoard. So that's, that's so funny because I just did that just before I got on this call. <laughs> See, <laughs> I know you. I'm like, you don't want to be like mom. She's like, oh, I might need it for, for whatever. And you're like, what? You haven't used it for five years. <laughs> well, that's, why, that's why I was on the ground. Yeah. Earlier. Mm -hmm. I was clearing stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's sad because as you hold on to these things, um, what happens is you retell the same old story of hurt and pain um, because you're so fearful that it might happen again. Um, you know, you know people that are like that, you know, as soon as you start talking to them within the first five minutes, they tell you what happened to them, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And someone, somebody said something, somebody did something. Um, and it's just still holding on to the past. But physically, they're hoarding things that they don't need. It's not like organized um, food storage or anything like that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about things that we do not need, do not use at all. Um, but remember, things have energy. So if you hold on to things, it just pulls you down. It weighs you down. More than that, you know, if you hold on to, uh, if you have unfinished projects, if you've started too many projects or things that you're doing, you're in, you're putting your fingers into so many um, uh, you know, organizations or whatever it is, you're doing way, way too much and none of them is complete, then it will weigh you down. So you can see how lemongrass cleans out your mind and says, look, look clearly. You've taken on too much. Simplify your life. Yeah, finish off things. So right now, if you smell that lemongrass, if you feel like I'm hoarding, I guess I am a little bit, smell lemongrass to help you clean out stuff. You know, smell the lemongrass and put, diffuse it in your walk-in wardrobe, walk in there and decide to toss things out. Two-second rule. Hold it. Yes, I've used it. No, I haven't. Toss it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because things, you know, the material things, it's just stuff. It really is. 
Anyone want to say anything before I go on? I don't want to keep talking. Alrighty, so more physical problems that you will see from that emotion is um, cholesterol, cholesterol problem, cataract problem, okay, uh, thyroid problem, and headaches. <laughs> Okay, um, so lemongrass can help people clean out the garbage in their minds um, and then their body will start to heal and respond. Okay. Hey Jade, I've got a question yep. about the cataract problems. Um, would you take it internally or just apply it around the eyes a little bit for that or? Yeah, that's a good question, Debbie. It's a little bit of a hot oil, so. Hot oil. Um, I have had lots of success putting it on the feet, the little um, eye reflex. Yeah, good idea. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Yeah. So when we have like pink yeah. eyes and stuff, that's what I've done. Yeah. And uh, this is actually a personal thing because my mum has is going through this problem too. Every single thing here we've had. <laughs> Jamie, stop rolling your eyes. <laughs> we have uh, personal experience with because my mum's trying to heal from this next problem. So uh, yeah just on the feet and the toes and I mean the fingers yeah okay. I'm having a real issue with cloudy eyes and lately and I'm not quite sure what the deal is but yeah I need to try yeah. it for that yeah um so Dr. Heal he says he likes to use Immortel but we've used like 10 bottles of Immortel on mum and I just it didn't click until I did this uh, because we've been using uh, lemongrass for her thyroid and that was great lemongrass for her headache and that was great and then I'm thinking wait I didn't ever, you know even connect this with her eyes here we are thinking Immortel come on yeah I didn't either I rub frankincense and Immortel around my eyes all the time but yes lately it's, it's not making a difference yep that's it that's what my mom said not making no. a difference yeah so, Spiritual vision, spiritual vision, clean out things that we're holding on to. So whatever it is that we're holding on to that's clouding our vision, uh, we are going to do this. So we've made a huge change in her life and, um, and it just seems like this is just the next thing. Alrighty, so for super, super negative people, don't let them use the oils on topically, okay? Because I have noticed nine times out of 10, they will break out in a rash because they're not ready to change. And so their body will show that irritation of forced change on their skin. So what we do is just say, hey guys, um, you know, you just know your friend. Just, I, I sense people very um, acutely now. So sometimes when I can't breathe around them, something about them, <sighs> is a bit negative so I'll, I'll offer the oils for them to smell um, and then I won't suggest that they do it internally or topically just yet sad but you know baby steps for them because that they might have wound themselves up so tightly that uh, they, they can't see different they can't see um, and we just need to hold their hand a little bit and guide uh, keep track of them and suggest it when you see that they've made some changes and I love the fact that the oils do the job. I don't have to do it. Yep. Okay, anyone with questions, comments? I know there's a few new faces on here. Um, feel free guys to, to just say something because I don't know if, you, um, yeah, if you're familiar with lemongrass or, yeah. Hi, Jade. It's Peaches. Hi. Hey, Peaches. Hi. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that um, when I first got into uh, doTERRA oils, lemongrass was one of the ones I felt most attracted to. I just love the smell. I love the smell of lemongrass. I went crazy over it. And uh, that was one of the oils that was introduced to me before I joined doTERRA. And that was the one I had um, my coworker slash girlfriend make a, a lotion. She, you know, made a lotion for me because she had it and she was wearing it as a lotion. I didn't know that this was something that um, 
you know, that got rid of, you know, the negative energy. Like I'm getting, you know, the oils bit by bit and I'm experimenting with them. And most of the time I'm usually attracted to their smells or I hear the physical, you know, side that how they can uh, help you physically and I'll get it like that. But lemongrass was one of the first ones. And when I went to the uh, retreat, they asked us, what was your favorite oil to put it on your tag? And lemongrass was the one that I really, that really, really attracted me, I think, to doTERRA and everything. But it really speaks a lot to me from what you're teaching, getting rid of the negativity and stuff. Because I feel like, you know, I like to be positive, but I have sometimes that going to, you know, work and stuff. I have that negative environment around me so much that I felt like I would succumb to it sometimes, hating to be, you know, hating the feeling of how I would feel and the thought processes and stuff that I would go through and everything. But I'm really glad to, to learn this. I got to start using it more. I, I just liked it for the smell. I just put some in my diffuser. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I just wanted to say that. That was just one of my favorites that attracted me to uh, doTERRA. Oh, so okay. that's all. <laughs> you know what? You loving it says a lot is that you don't want to be negative okay mm -hmm. get this out of me already um yeah. we learn we learn to be fearful from the society from our family from generations you know things have happened to people we get it but sometimes we hold on to that memory thinking that if we don't remember then we'll repeat it um you know yeah. So that's the fear. If I don't remember that that person hurt me or destroyed my family's finances or whatever it is, um, mm -hmm. we will repeat it. If we don't remember the, the hard times, um, you know, and, and be frugal, then we will repeat it. So what uh, this oil is trying to teach us is rely on the divine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be clear on this. This is your, your time. You know, you're not living in the past. It's like my mom, she's still living in the wartime. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, you're here, you're safe, no guns, no bombs. Listen, yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -mm. she's still like that some days, which is mm -hmm. fine. And we are creatures of habit. So, yeah. we can't expect to get over it. And we can't be mad at, you know, somebody like my mom because she's gone through a whole lifetime of thinking in that pattern. Yeah. So just keep mm -hmm. using it. And it just helps lift your heart up every single day. Okay. Well, yeah. I definitely need to use to use this. I mean, I don't like to, you know, feel like I'm I'm living in the past, but I do think I bring up certain things, and I definitely, my parents, they they yeah. do that. They live in a, they do have that live in the past type of thing. But um, yeah, everybody I guess gets through it in their own way. But I'm so glad that I've, you know, I'm looking at this and learning so much about it because I definitely do need it. And I probably see why I was very, very drawn to it yeah. and stuff. But the smell was just so amazing to me. And some people don't like it. And I'm like, how do you not like that? It's lemongrass. That is like the best scent. <laughs> But yeah, I, I find this to be very attractive and I'm like, okay, I'm with that all the way. <laughs> that and sandalwood, those two. But oh. lemongrass was the one that really, you know, drew me to doTERRA. I really liked it without really knowing, you know, the properties and the benefits. Mm -hmm. So just keep using it, even for people that are not familiar with it. Because my friend, she uses it at home so that her husband and her children are happy. Uh, I have mm. friends that have told me that they have lived life that are, you know, people, most people actually live life just very unaware of how much power and potential they have inside. And mm. lemongrass is one of those oils that help people really awaken, really feel um, like they, they can be mindful of what they're thinking, what they're saying, or what they're feeling. Um, so it's just been a wonderful journey just watching people change. So remember your thoughts create feelings and your feelings create the actions and the actions create results. So what's happening in our lives right now, whatever problems we have, is just mm -hmm. is a result of our thoughts, our patterns of thoughts. So we're going to start changing our thoughts. But what is really good is when we do, um, we change our thoughts, but we physically uh, teach our brains to rewire. So one of the main things what we want to help people do is just, you know, like I said, just clean out physically, clean out physically. So you can take the oils internally and then, you know, 
clean your body, your physical body. So go to the toilet more. Number two, more. Uh, you know, look at your home, look at your workspace. Is it organized? If you physically take time to organize it, inside of you, your phys inside spirit will be more organized. You get things more. It just will click and <laughs> aha, <laughs> right? So that's important. Okay, so when you're doing things physically, I tell people mind over matter, but matter over mind too. So we keep on doing both. This is because we have this journey on earth to learn to work with this body. This is why it's great, okay? The people that have like leg problems that uh, their, their legs are not, and they're not able to connect with their legs somehow or whatever it is, then actually they physically will touch it. Um, and uh, stimulate it and then it starts to make connections in their brains and then maybe they will have more movement so it's a little interesting interesting okay um, anyone with any questions or comments so far I don't want to just keep talking alrighty so write down a list of your um, unfinished projects um, so you can say to yourself, cancel that subject, that project, I'm not going to do it anymore, or decide to finish it off every day. Check, check things off that you've done. Don't start anything new until things have cleaned up. Okay, your, your whole physical body will feel better when you do that um, cleaning activity. Okay, the other beautiful thing about lemongrass is it helps you remember uh, to let go of the need to find security and um, uh, safety in stuff okay uh, ben and i have been or forced to almost <laughs> no it's of our own choice we we moved countries guys we've moved countries like five times back and forth from the us and australia and every time we had to do that we had to just declutter. It didn't make sense to spend $15,000 of ship, shipping um, stuff over there only to, you know, ship old stuff that we've used stuff, you know. Uh, so we put all the really, um, you know, important things in our luggage and that was all we took with us. And, you know, there's some things that you think, oh, it's so pretty, but they have to let it go. Um, and after, after you've you let it go it's just so liberating because it's just us we have the most important things and they're intangible things our family our love our god our gifts and abilities and talents and that's it <laughs> and you just have to show yourself hey i'm okay still okay i'm i'm letting go and i am trusting in the higher divine um purpose for me um so that was a a, a good learning um experience for us and that's yeah Okay, <laughs> so let go of old hurts and painful situations. If you can journal what you tell people a lot about um, what's happened in your life and things like that, if it um, helps you, um, I tell people some of the things not to complain, but just to help them know that I can uh, relate to them. That's different but complaining about something that's happened and this is why I'm like this um, in, in a negative kind of way, then you give yourself permission to cancel it and just to get rid of it. I learned all I could. I'm going to let it go now. I won't talk about it. Okay. Alrighty. So I already mentioned it, but the last part here is about organizing the home. Um, all right. So, we just need to toss out things that we don't need. And um, if you touch your heart and you say, I choose to love life, my channels of joy are wide open. It is safe to receive. Um, this is really good, especially for uh, people who have, um, you know, cholesterol concerns. Okay. And uh, you can touch your forehead and say, I think they choose to think positive thoughts, clear positive thoughts. So every time you smell that uh, lemongrass, touch your forehead and say, I choose to think clear, positive thoughts. And slowly the, the physical um, movement will help solidify the me mental movement and mental thoughts and um, pathways. Okay, 
you, you guys have a turn now. You ask your questions and make comments. So Jade, I was late to the class, but I think I came in at the part that I needed to. This last paragraph is my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> And that's kind of how I feel too. I feel cluttered and scattered and I've got my mind is going in a million different directions because I have so many things on my to-do list that are pri high priority right now. So that's, <laughs> so I guess I need to add some lemongrass. But I also have had an amazing experience with lemongrass and physically. Um, and it was a long time ago, well, a few years ago, but it, it's an amazing oil. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a sissy. No, and I don't know how to share my story with it being compliant, so I won't, but it's, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was just an amazing experience to me, and it, it just really drove home how powerful and effective the oils can be physically for our bodies as well as emotionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, thank you, Kayla. That's awesome. I, I just feel that about Frank, uh, uh, Frankson, the lemongrass. It's, it's not, um, yeah, it's not a weak guy. It's a really powerful grass that says, get out, clear out. <laughs> you know, you're, you don't belong here. So when you plant it down, the, the, the grass just grows and grows and just, you know, shoot straight up, very strong. Look at me. Not like the sissy little soft um, furry grasses <laughs> out there. Yeah. I had a doula friend um, that had some gross on her face around her nose and eyes here area. Um, and she used a lot of frankincense on it. She used a lot of immortelle and her husband kept saying, you know, you need to go get those cut off. And she kept saying, no, I'm going to keep trying this. And she finally came back to me and I suggested lemongrass to her. And she came to me last week on Friday at a, at a nursing conference and said, look at this, Debbie. And um, it was almost gone. Yeah. It was remarkable. So good. So wonderful. Yeah. Um, Jade, you said one of those, are both the strips for um, cholesterol or just one of them are more? Uh, they're both. They're both. Oh, so okay. Cholesterol is just the channels in your life are clogging up and we clog it up. <laughs> Our minds up. And we clog up because we don't feel like we deserve joy. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the body's just reacting because your emotions are saying, I'm, I'm shutting that off and I don't deserve. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Restricting that, restricting the joy. So you can't see joy, you can't feel joy. That's your reality. Um, okay. No. Yeah. Lots of holding on to stuff. Yeah, and that's really good because it leads us on to our next topic. <laughs> Does anyone else want to say something? I don't know um, who some of the people are here. I hope you guys are not super new at um, the essential oils because this might Have them introduce themselves. Yes, I don't want to call out names and make you feel uncomfortable and never come back again. <laughs> yeah. But just go ahead and share, um, you know, something about you, how much, uh, you know, what's your oil experience? It doesn't have to be uh, lemongrass. Um, I have been using oils for six years since my sister introduced um, the family physician kit to me. So at first it was really odd, I guess, to use. And I had, um, I guess, reactions because I wasn't ready to use or I really needed to detox. But after I detoxed, I don't have any sort of reactions to it at all, like well, negatively anyway. Um, I guess I I have been using lemongrass in the last few weeks, um, mainly because I've been detoxing um, physically as well as emotionally, and it's been it's been really good because in in this part of my life where you know when you feel like it's difficult when you um, diffuse lemongrass it feels really it feels really happy. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's happy now, but yeah, 
Happy tears. <laughs> Happy tears. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Jade, is this your sister Jamie? Yes. <laughs> Welcome, Jamie. Yes. Jamie is your happy recipient um, of Debbie's tutelage <laughs> through me. Your sister is a fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody here, we, Debbie taught me about um, how to support somebody in labor and things. So I took lots of copious notes and um, I helped my sister with it. So. And also first introduced yeah. you know, to essential oils. So her two kids are doTERRA babies, drug free, you know, shots free. It's awesome. So smart little monkeys. Yes. yes. So smart. Yeah. Little teenagers. They're so smart. <laughs> yeah. They are little teenagers. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't get anything by them, but um, like my eldest is four and if I tell her go put some on guard on she'll go put it on even though she can't read yet you know um I go put you got an owie go get your owie blend and put it on she knows the bottle's pink so you know that's for owies and if she's got a cut or something and she needs to um put some correct x on before she puts a band-aid on so she knows which oils are which and uh, my little one is only one and a half and she'll she'll open all the bottles she doesn't know which ones are which but she tends to just pick the right ones anyway and she opens the bottle and puts it on her tummy and she rubs it on her feet and she does the same for me and savannah even if we don't want it <laughs> but, um, yeah she just pours it all over us and i you know I try to to allow her to do that, um, even though I worry about her tipping everything over. But uh, you know, she's she's learning as well. She's yeah, awesome. that's awesome. Yeah, so she's learning too. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I don't know how to say your name. It's a to Shakin. Sashim. Sashim. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, how long have you been using essential oils? Uh, since February 11th. Really? <laughs> um, I'm actually, I'm in Montreal, Canada, uh, and I study for fun naturopathy. Mm -hmm. And I myself have issues with my breathing system, and uh, I was given a diagnosis of asthma, but allergic asthma so it's a reaction to allergy severe allergies to dust mites and all type of mites mm. and uh, I reach like a roof <laughs> with regular medication and I made some research on internet um, in Google and I read something positive about lemon essential oil and lavender and a friend of mine during the same period talked to me about doTERRA so I purchased a family essential kit and I started to try uh, doing it on my own, the same blend we found find in Tri-E's. So le lemon, uh, lavender and peppermint, a drop of each, and it works. It's starting to help me, but I know I also need to do some plants because allergies come from um, like the intestines. So I I'm going to do the cleanse and restore. Fantastic. And I'm starting a little group. I ha already have like a secret page in Facebook and friends and family. And I'm starting to build a French community because there's not a lot of French community with doTERRA. Mm -hmm. So, and I knew nothing about lemongrass. And after tonight, it's, I, during the same time we were talking, I added it to my LRP for next month. <laughs> and, awesome. and I'm just looking like i just want to learn everything <laughs> and share it to people uh, around me and everything you said about lemongrass like fits also to my state of mind at the moment so when we say nothing happens for nothing <laughs> and i i'm probably not in your team i, I don't really know who, who you people are but i saw this in evan bright and i said oh my god i want to do this Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually, actually subscribe to all your future presentations. No worries. Welcome to the, the whole family. This is this Glad is what we're we doing. Yeah. 
monotony for this team doesn't matter. But you know, I put forth a lot of effort to to do lots of learning and research for years and years. And now I have a place with my husband's help. I have a place to, to put all the, the learning that I have. So oh, it's really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, we still we have this website. Um, it's just jbolden.com and there's other um, oils that we talked about. What's the name? So it's jbolden.com. JadeBalden.com. Okay. Um, okay. We'll just show, share the screen with so you. So there it is right there. So like tonight we did JadeBalden.com slash lemongrass. You can even download a PDF there. Um, we thought, kind of, oh, we can download it? Yeah. yeah and print so it out. That you can look at, um, I to include all her notes here. And then as we discuss it in the class, everybody shares their experience and everything. Very helpful. Thank you. You can see like past um, classes uh, that we've had. You can go ahead and the, the past online classes and there's all the other essential oils that we have covered. Wow. And there's a YouTube channel as well with playlists for that and essential oils. And then there's a wellness classes, which tonight we have. Um, Great. Free to um, go on there and, and learn all you, all you want and share it with friends. Um, it doesn't really matter who's doing it. It's information about the YouTube channel and there's even a podcast. So if you have a smartphone, you can just go to the iTunes podcast directory and type in Jay Bald and bring it up. And you can listen to it while you're driving somewhere. And it's just these classes in audio form. Very practical in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are, are listening on. Yeah. So. Hello, yeah. everybody who's listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are not here. Yeah, awesome. We have Lisa. Lisa. Hi. Lisa there. Hi, Lisa. Good to have you here. Yes, um, I met you in uh, Dustin a few weeks ago at the Wellness Prosperity Summit and saw you on stage. And then... Um, went to the regional summit in Orlando. So I was first introduced to doTERRA oils about a year and a half, almost two years ago now, and got the family essential to fortunate to see Dr. Hill in Tampa, which was incredible. And then I ran out of those pretty quickly and wasn't able to reorder for quite a while. And so when they did the BOGO week in February, I signed up finally, because I had never even signed up initially. <laughs> and um, so I signed up and I'm, not affiliated on your team. I'm over near the Orlando area, but um, I definitely connected with your, uh, both of you speaking and Dustin and was very fortunate that I got to attend. And then my cousin Barbara has come to some of your classes in Dustin. Mm -hmm. And so she and I were talking before your call. She's like, oh, Jade has a class. So I haven't gotten lemongrass yet, but it's definitely in my wish list. And I had headaches. Like I, my husband was using. Oh, I think we're losing. Lavender, lemon, or lavender, <laughs> pepper. I think we're losing Lisa. Is everybody else? That and that blue is then the other. So. Okay. everybody's different and uh, you know clearly we don't have days that things can help people I've got some skin things that I've been using some immortelle and haven't seen so much difference so now I'm gonna have to add lemongrass to that list to try for some skin things and see how that works yeah so I'm excited thank you for this awesome thank you it's good to good have for you good. good for you good to have you alrighty so uh, it's is there anybody else we haven't time. introduced we're actually going to go ahead and tie up our lemongrass um, class and we're going to start the next class, which is cholesterol. So every Tuesday we have the, an essential oil um, spotlight class and then we have a wellness class, so a wellness topic. So please stick around. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here and we'll start it up again for our cholesterol class. Thank you everybody for attending.